Jeff Snyder here at the Rap Sundance Video Studio. I'm sitting down with the team behind Love Song. Why don't you guys introduce okay. yourselves? My name's Soyeon Kim. I'm the writer co. I mean, I'm the writer, director, <laughs> editor. Yes, you are. <laughs> that sounds like a question. <laughs> are you sure? Uh, my name is Riley Keough. I play Sarah in the film. Uh, my name is Jenna Malone, and I'm also playing a character in this film. <laughs> Mindy, that's Mindy. <laughs> we, none of us sounded as sure about any of that. <laughs> we need to get fed. Mindy, that's, what a be that's a beautiful yeah. name. Yeah. Mom's name. Um, so why don't you tell yes. us a little bit about what the film is about? The film is about these two fabulous actors who play uh, Sarah and Mindy and their best friends, and they go on this road trip, and they slowly fall in love. <laughs> now, ladies, I read that, that she was uh, described as a master of silence. Is that uh, <laughs> is, clearly? Is, is that <laughs> d does she? Um, you know, how does she communicate with with you guys on set? Not not silently. <laughs> she's, no. She gets a bit crazy, actually. <laughs> so yeah. really, she's a bit bossy. No. Is, she, is she a demanding no, director? No, she's amazing. No, she does. She you know she, what she's amazing at is she lets she lets you do whatever you want, kind of, and she's really. I'm like turning back and forth. <laughs> <Don't worry. laughs> um, she she <laughs> um, she gives you like so much room to play around, but she also knows exactly what she wants, you know. So it's like this cool mixture where it's not just like we were talking about earlier, where she lets us just run on and on and with no point, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I think the Master of Silence is more about. In her film, she explores right. silence unlike anyone else does. Okay. And it's 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 not that, you know, she's silent on set or she mm -hmm. doesn't have a voice. It's that, you know, being able to film something that's unactive and make it interesting and make it kind of vibrant and have narrative in it is very hard. And I think that's what she excels at. And I think it's a really, I think, why a lot of actors really sort of just put their full trust in her because you just kind of want her to work in her own way and let her, you know, reach that, you know, narrative peak. Um, and uh, it's a different way of working. It's really nice. And you've been at Sundance before, right? Yes, this is my third film. How does it feel to be Sundance. back in Park City? Like, what does the festival mean to you at this point? You know, it's so funny because uh, I had this interview this morning. And I'm like, wow, you're not jaded. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm so excited. Gosh, how can you get <laughs> jaded? Uh, it's awesome. It's exciting. And, and it's also uh, nerve wracking because, oh, my God, we have a premiere. And it's like 1,200 people. And you're sharing your work with all these people, you know? And, and, and so um, one of the two, you elaborate on your characters a little bit and their, their connection. Because if I understand correctly, I, I haven't seen the film and I plan to check it out, um, you're, you're friends and you're exploring whether that relationship is going to become something more. Yeah. Well, what's interesting is that, you know, I really, uh, so was interested in telling a love story. And I thought it was really interesting that she wanted to start with two best friends who had been sort of heterosexual their whole life. And, um, you know, having different male partners and just, um, but that had an intimacy that was sort of, you know, very, you know, deep and developed and they loved each other in a very specific way as old friends do. And I think it's a really nice time, like sort of via this road trip and both of them are kind of in the middle of these, uh, you know, de de deconstructions of their own love life that they kind of find something in each other that they think, oh, well, maybe this is it. You know, this is, this could be what you know, real love is, and I and I think that's a really nice question to be asking now, particularly with how, you know, it's not about, you know, what gender you're loving. It's just about love, you know, and reaching that level of intimacy that is, you know, above and beyond anything you could ask for, you know. Here in Park City, make sure to check out Love Song, and uh, again, thanks for stopping by, ladies. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you.